Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and these are the replays on the Diamondback base. Um, thank you guys for waiting. Later today, I'll have a Town Hall 10 video for you guys, some attacks, but um, for now, still focusing on Town Hall 9 defensive. Uh, and the, the Diamondback did pretty well. Um, it wasn't perfect. There's a few things I think should be changed, which I'll talk about. But um, we're going to see a few attacks today. The first couple from Ali. This is one of the plans that he had. And it's using this, I forget what it's called. It's like DH something. I um, can never keep track of them. But uh, this is the kind of Queen Walk Laloon with the minions. And it's a pretty powerful strategy. We're seeing it more and more recently. He, he tries this plan a few times, tweaking it and stuff, so we'll take a look at some of his attacks on it uh, to start, then we'll look at the attacks by other people. So, uh, starting off with a Queen Walk, got the uh, Archer Tower up top taken out with a Balloon and a Baby Dragon. Queen coming down south, he's going to Wall Breaker her in, and um, I was thinking about this base when I built it, and there's a, you know, a good chance people are going to use like a, a Stone to Kill Squad or something like that to enter the base, and I, I didn't think about a queen walk because this base is pretty compact. It's not the easiest thing to do. But both expos are on the other side of the base, which makes it a little trickier uh, defensive-wise because you can see the queen's going to come in. He'll drop that rage. I had a dragon, a giant, a wizard, and an archer in the CC. Not as typical as the usual CC comp, but it was. Uh, I think it was pretty effective. And it, the dragon can be tricky sometimes. Because uh, if the, unless the queen gets on it right away, it can do some damage to bowlers or certain things like that. So the queen comes in with that jump here. You can see she can access uh, three of the four air defenses. But as soon as she gets past those air defenses, she's going to hit a little bit of a uh, uh, of a wall because the expos lock on to her, and there's really not a whole lot um, she can do when she takes out like that cannon. I think he misses the ability, which was probably pretty crucial here because the Lava Hounds were just coming in. They would have probably uh, distracted the Expos along other defenses. So that was big that he missed the ability. But here he comes with the Laloon. I think that first Lava Hound soaked up like every Seeking Air Mine because um, they are kind of concentrated in there. That's not the best situation, but at least the first one pops really quickly. Balloons moving through that last Lava Hound still up. But I think this is where the base is strong. You can see even though all the air defenses are down, we have a few wizard towers, expo archer tower, and there's a good number of balloons, but the Tesla's doing work. Things are starting to go down. He's dropping in these minions, but the minions have that little bit of a delay because they have to take out the trash buildings before they can encounter the defenses. And right here just peters out the wizard tower doing a good job there. Um, can't quite get the job done. So as this thing... As this thing wraps up, we will uh, also take a look at his second try. A little bit fa uh, fast forwarded because I don't want to, you know, waste your guys' time with uh, too many of the same attack. So we will take a look as soon as this ends here. Get that lava pup. Okay, there we go. Uh, so 95%, pretty close, not bad for a first attack. There was the troll test in the corner, which I think he got with a balloon. I think it did go down, yeah. So anyway, moving along here, um, we have his second attack, and you can see uh, pretty similar stuff. I think the, the idea is don't miss the queen's ability here. So anyway, drops down the same kind of stuff. The balloons uh, up top, they're too staggered. They come in one at a time. As a result, they both go down. The baby dragon doesn't quite get that archer tower, so um, right away, not quite getting the same value. He got the first attack. In times two, we can see... Uh, how it unfolds a little bit quicker. The king coming in at the bottom still with the wizards. Wall breakers left the queen in. Um, usual stuff, same stuff we saw in the first attack. Here's that next rage about to go down. You can see he has three rages, and I think he plans to use most of them, or if not all of them, on his queen right here. Uh, the healers get hit, but not enough to take one out. There's the jump. I don't think the king got quite as much value as he did because he went through that wall right there. Uh, but anyway, the queen's stepping up. She'll get the same air defenses, that usual stuff. Almost ready, starting with the Laloon. And uh, as soon as those air defenses go down, I think he drops it. No, he pops the queen's ability right here. Uh, so the queen's ability has been popped, but both experts are still on her. The Lava Hounds didn't quite come in quick enough to tank. And he drops his next rage, but it does not keep her up. He's just a little bit too late on it right here. A little bit too late. Once again, the queen goes down as we buffer for a second. Balloon's coming in. Lava Hound is tanking, but uh, just without the queen still up, it's not going to be possible. Uh, it actually doesn't get as close as he did the first attack. I think the balloon deployment wasn't quite as good. Um, 
yeah, just, just didn't quite have the same value he did last time. You can see we got those air skellies also um, up and alert. So let's take a look at his last attack now. Sorry to, you know, spend three attacks on this, but I think this is uh, something that is a common attack strategy and it's worth seeing how this base holds up. So this is the one that gets the three star. Um, we have Ollie dropping the queen a little bit higher. Instead of having dropping those balloons, he'll just let the queen take out the archer tower on her own. Uh, triggers those air skellies, which is probably good because the queen can just shoot them down in a few shots before she keeps moving. The balloons don't have to worry about them. Uh, so right there, the queen takes out the king. I should zoom in a little bit. I don't know what I was doing here. Um, so she comes down south. The king a lot higher up with the wizards. And he's going to enter in with the queen. So a different entry as well. You can see it's a little bit harder for the queen to get those air defenses. They're a little bit deeper at that angle. But again, he has the jump spell. The king is out in front right here. He'll pop the king's ability. He will just be tanking uh, for the defenses, the CC troops. A lot of point defense right here. So it's important there's something to tank for the queen. This way, she's able to sit back and take out some of these defenses. Now, I thought this thing was going to go south for him when those healers stepped up. Because I believe he only has two healers still on the queen at this point. He drops down that rage. The rage is pretty powerful, so even with the two-point defense, the two healers keep her up under rage. Uh, she'll step up, get these air defenses right here. So things are actually going okay for him despite all of this. Still has the queen's ability as well. Um, there's that next air defense going down, and I think she'll start heading up north a little bit towards the next few defenses. Meanwhile, coming in with the Laloon, there's the Lava Hound, there's the Balloons right there. There's the double-seeking air mine on that... On that um, air defense right there so he has to move quickly next lava hound already coming in and i believe there's one more double seeking air mine on the last air defense but the difference is here as soon as the balloons get through those first two air defenses there's not the same amount of defenses up top he took out the wizard tower the archer tower um triggered those air skellies a lot of stuff from the top of the base that hurt him the last two attacks is no longer there has that rage um for the balloons and right here the queen is able to stay alive that was important as well Maybe not necessary, but it definitely helped because uh, these balloons closing in, instead of being uh, three wizard towers, a Tesla and an archer tower, it's just the wizard tower and the Tesla. So it helped that he got more value at that angle and as a result gets the three star. So nice attack. I think not too much off this base though because it did defend the first two. I must take a look at another attack. This one by a little bit of a lower level heroes guy who just kind of jumped in i was an alpha doing this so let's see what he can do here um against the base with the lower level heroes i believe he does a yeah a hghb attack so is it hghb here yeah i think it has bowlers so yeah um coming in with the giants then the healers Poison definitely would have helped at this point to slow down those heroes, but um, doesn't drop it right here. Baby dragons for the funnel. Um, we don't see this attack much anymore. It's weird. This attack used to be so popular, but not anymore. Uh, we don't see it much. Gets that archer tower up top with the baby dragon. Here come the bowlers. Actually pretty good funnel. Everything's moving forward. Um, has the jump and uh, a rage and two heals. Probably not enough hogs to warrant two heals in my opinion, but... Um, you know, it is what it is. Here come the CC troops. And like I said, with the especially with the lower level queen, that dragon can do some damage, especially when the uh, the queen's not on it right away too. It can uh, get a few puffs off, which isn't a lot. It doesn't look like a lot, but it can, you know, along with giant bombs, it can start to take out some of those troops. The golems kind of go off to the side here. So uh, the and the king as well and the giants. Actually, doesn't have any golems, but the giants go down south. The bowlers kind of get picked off up top. The queen's on her own. Uh, here come the hogs, but it's just his kill squad kind of spread out too much right there, which you don't want to have happen with HGHB. So the hogs coming through um, has these heals for them, but um, he's going to have to drop them early because of all these Teslas and stuff that pop up. The Teslas on the outside of the base are pretty good against hogs. They screw up the pathing to make it difficult to heal, and if you put the giant bombs kind of around them, uh, you force those early heals, which is good. So right here, you know, doesn't do bad. The queen's ability, I think he just used. So she goes down to that giant bomb right there. But uh, the hogs actually get a good portion of the base taken out before they uh, they go down right here. So nice try to uh, Michelle, Michael, Michael maybe without the A. Not sure there. 
Uh, but anyway, it gets about 73% with the low-level heroes. Let's move on to the last attack because a lot of you guys said um, a golem-based kill squad is going to come through this base pretty hard. This one isn't exactly a stoned attack, but it has a queen walk and then a two golem kill squad entry uh, with a few hogs to... Uh, to top it off. So starts off with the queen right here at the bottom, drops a wizard for the funnel. Just gonna have her walk up north. This is Richie coming at this base, has the 30-30 heroes. Um, she'll take that out. Pretty nice funnel because the cannon's kind of uh, separated from that next cannon and the other defenses. So the queen, uh, yeah, she's gonna go up north here, uh, takes out the storage, then she'll keep walking. Engaging these point defense one at a time, so not having to invest much in her here. This part of the base isn't very heavy in defenses. There's that golem, there's the baby dragon, um, a wizard for the funnel, and he's going to have the queen enter with everything else. Now, I think he got a little bit lucky here. L unlucky and lucky, because he goes in with the wall breakers, there's the test one, the next few coming in, but they target the wall right next to that wizard tower and they get taken out. However, because... Um, they don't go through the wall right away. Everything kind of gets healed right up um, in this big bunch of troops as they go through the wall because they all get really clumped up together. Everything's back at full health, pretty much the golems, everything. The king does get out in front a little bit, but he has the benefit of taking out maybe a quarter, a fifth of the base without really losing any troops because of how things kind of got clumped up and healed back up. They didn't really enter one at a time. They all came in at the same time, which is a good thing, especially when you have those healers that do the splash heal. So there's the rage. You can see just tearing through the base here. Has that next jump, the hogs for the outside of it. Um, awesome attack. Crushes the base, really. And I think... I think... My suggestion for this base, as you can see, it's it, maybe it doesn't hold up very good against a big kill squad attack with you know multiple golems, possibly a queen walk uh, joining in, which some of you guys talked about in the comments. I think what I would say is you've got to play around with the compartments a little bit. The four air defenses, I think, is good. That doesn't really have any impact on a ground attack like this. I think the main thing is beyond those kind of middle compartments, how can you change the outer compartments to make the funneling harder to make the bowlers get spread out like they shouldn't, to make the golems go off to one side. Different ways to play around with that. That would be my recommendation because uh, this attack was pretty strong and you can see he has a lot of troops left up. So something to think about for maybe the Diamondback 2.0 possibly. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching though. And uh, hopefully this base, even if it's not what you're going to use, uh, helped you with some concepts, maybe give you some ideas for what to use. And uh, like I said, later today or tomorrow, I'll have some Town Hall 10 content and uh, also some more Town Hall 9 stuff to talk about too. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bisectatron out.